misunderstanding this verse can cause you to be very disappointed in God. When I was a little boy, even before I was a Christian, I didn't grow up in church, but I knew this particular verse and thought it was a pretty good verse and I've heard it a ton of times ever since. And that is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. The problem with this particular passage is misunderstanding this verse can cause you to be very disappointed in God. Well, what do I mean? Well, sometimes we take this verse to mean uh, the wrong thing. Well, what does it mean, Corey? Well, I'll tell you what it doesn't mean. It doesn't mean that you can bend still. It doesn't mean that you can go out and fly. It doesn't mean that you can actually call something that is not existing into existence. It doesn't mean that you can, uh, at age 60, go out and win the 100 meter dash in the Olympics. It doesn't mean that you can do whatever you want to do as long as you're in Christ. No, that's not what it is. It's not a, it's not something that gives you superhuman power or supernatural abilities to do things that you just aren't supposed to be doing. That's not what this passage is for. Notice Paul is talking about how he's gone through so many different things. Let's look at the passage and see if we can, in context, understand what Paul's point is. In chapter four, verse 11 of Philippians, Paul says, not that I am speaking of being in need, for I have learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. So what is Paul's point here? Well, Paul is saying, I've been up and I've been down. I've had the good and bad. I've had plenty and I've had a little bit. I've been uh, full and I've been hungry. Whatever it is that I'm going through, I'm strong enough through Christ. I have been strengthened through Christ that each of those things that I go through, I can through Christ. The word that's used for all is the word um, panta. It is a derivative of the word pan or pas, which is all, each, or every. So what Paul is saying is that each thing or everything or whatever it is that I'm going through, uh, I'm able to go through it through the one who is strengthening me. I can endure it. That's Paul's point. I can endure the hardship. I can endure, I can endure the good things as well as the bad. I can be up. I can be down. He says, I have learned to be content. And knowing this, I know that God is going to bring me through. And so whatever the situation is, I'm going to be able to make it. Paul is not saying this to say that I'm going to defeat whatever comes against me. Paul is saying that whatever it is I'm going through, I'll be able to endure all these things. OK, so don't take this passage to use it incorrectly, because what ends up happening is if you think that this passage tells us that I can do it, I've got this obstacle uh, that I need to get over. And I know the pastor says that I can do all things. And so I'm going to be victorious in this, this endeavor. Well, if I'm not, if, if, if I'm not victorious in whatever it is that I'm going up against and I'm relying on this passage incorrectly, then I'm going to be disappointed in myself, in the word, and ultimately with God, because it's not working out. What am I doing wrong, God? What's happening? And so the point of the passage is to get you to understand that it's not saying that you can be victorious in all things. It's that you can make it through, that you can endure all things. How? Through Christ, who has given you the strength to endure those things. Amen.